Hello and welcome to uh, Circle Cities. So Circle Cities is about those exploring more about uh, mediumship, um, healing, our body experiences beyond the physical, physical mediumship, trance mediumship, channeling, clear audience, psychic art, the list goes on. But our mission, our purpose and our aspirations is basically for um, a lot of people to create their own home circles. So there's many, many people around the country in, in the United Kingdom and across the world who I meet who are very lonely, who don't know many people in, in spirituality and those who have an understanding and a belief and a passion and a desire to explore more mediumship, healing, spirituality is that really those people need to be in home circles. And these could be drumming circles, healing circles, these could be rescue circles, and the thing is, it's about commitment. The important thing is to understand is about energy, is that it takes time, that your first sitting, you may not get any results at all. It may be very, very slow, it may take a couple of years, it could take months, but it is your dedication to spirit in many different forms, a regular sitting for getting energy built up, and the, when the same sitters sit each time, they are batteries. So there doesn't have to be a medium in the room. There doesn't have to be a medium in the circle. Uh, as long as you are all open-minded, you have an open mind and you are in tune in one way or another, your gifts start to develop into mediums yourselves after time. So I've known circles uh, who are set up for, for a while, and their abilities are starting to manifest and grow because it's education. They're learning about energy in ways that they haven't done before in their physical, normal, waking physical life. So home circles is important that you didn't have to be at home. It could be another place. Perhaps you have an office somewhere that is very darkened. It doesn't have to be darkened all the time. It can, you know, suitably in low lighting conditions to start off with, meditating together, focusing on a candle, or just having a circle of chairs. Ideally, you need about maybe four, five, six people. Um, you can have a bigger group, but when it gets too big, it can be a bit complex. But the main important thing is to have regular uh, sitting people uh, every week at the same time, or roughly around the time. If uh, commitments cannot persist because of maybe appointments or holidays or illnesses, then um, it's still about the commitment that you make to make the circle uh, happen. And it's the commitment that is important. So even if you can't do one day of the week, then it can be changed. But it is, it is your commitment um, at least once a week to um, group together. And uh, if it feels intuitively right that you want to just meet sociably and don't charge for it, have it in your own home. Um, if you know a handful of people who are already spiritually awakened uh, in, a, in a sense or have an understanding about spirit and are lovely people who aren't negative and who hold the space lovely together, then group those people together and say, okay, we're going to meet at this time every week. I want you to meet up and let's, you know, let's do this. And at one point, if people don't understand the processes of energy, they might seem for them boring. Um, those aren't the right people. The right people are the ones that will give their energy in the right way, be committed and uh, be part of the circle. And for whatever reason you are brought together, if it is to uh, help pass over uh, lost souls, if, if it is for healing, if it is for anything, but really it's about just sort of meditating together first of all, and seeing what develops. So I've known a few circles who have started just sitting around a candle and seeing things in the candle, and then they started to move on to table, table work, table tipping, and um, now they use spirit communication via uh, the table. So there are others who also have healing circles as well, I know of, and or mediumship when they just do trance. So the list goes on, but really a home circle is a development circle where you develop with people and friends, co-workers, it could be people that you trust, even your family, 
you, um, just g- gather your family together if they're like-minded and say, hey, just let's sit every week. And it's really good. In this day and age where we're, people are addicted and are too attached to their mobiles and devices, this is a really good thing to come back to source and to understand about spirit and to have have presence, proper presence of not just physical people, but also be more connected to your guides and guide work. Um, so it's our passion and our desire to see more home circles grow um, and expand. And this is why we're here. So thank you for watching and um, I hope to see you soon.